Hello, my wonderful minions. It's me, Bo Shevisu. I'm going to give you an update on Costa Rica, but first I need to share with you some top two tips on uh, improving your craft of video storytelling. Now, you don't need to necessarily hire Knox Studio as a videographer. If you just want to pop open your smartphone, as long as you are capturing good content, that is what counts. Now, with that said, quality is still important, and that is kind of the point of this video. In my hand, this is called gaff tape. If you're not familiar with gaff, as in like gaffer from the film world, you can use this on so much stuff in video production, but not just video and film. I guarantee you, if you were to buy some gaff tape off of Amazon, I'll include the link below in case you're wondering. But if you include some of this in your arsenal around your house, I guarantee you, your kids are going to be using this nonstop because it is, of course, it comes in bright different colors and all sorts of things, but it's so easy to work with. Check it out right here. See this little X that I made? I could use this to spike the stage. I can put it on the ground and it's easy to peel off off of a hardwood floor or something. It's not going to leave residue behind, unlike duct tape. Uh, and it's, like I said, it's easy to work with. You can easily tear it like that into little tiny strips. You can't necessarily do with that with duct tape. Well, you can try, but you're gonna probably get these long threads, you know, the long sticky threads that get in the way and you're trying to pull it off. You could use painter's tape if you'd like, but I found if you leave painter's tape on for too long, it actually leaves residue behind, which is really, really funny. Like why in the world would someone have painter's tape and want to leave residue behind? So gaff tape, it's amazing stuff. Highly, highly recommended. Now, you can get bright colors so that you can sort of put them on your tripod, make sure when people are walking through a dark theater, they're not tripping over your tripod, or you can get black colored gaff tape, which tends to blend in a bit easier. Let's say, for example, to my shirt right here, instead of clipping on this lav mic, I actually taped it onto my shirt using this black gaff tape. Uh, now, of course, I could clip it on like so, but in a lot of reality TV shows, they actually hide the microphone underneath and they tape it to the person. Now, if you've ever had, uh, especially if you're a guy with lots of chest hair, if you've ever had duct tape on your chest hair and someone comes along and rips that off, that's not gonna be very pleasant. Now, this still wouldn't be the most pleasant, but the point is, is that they use this to tape the microphone, the lav mic, underneath people's shirts. So if you've ever seen like reality TV shows and you're wondering, how are they getting this amazing audio. Well, that's because they have these microphones and they're taped onto them underneath their shirt. Isn't that amazing? So highly recommended. Give this a try and I guarantee you, uh, you're going to be like, oh, that video of Bo that he, you know, talked about, you know, the gaff tape. I got mine from Gaffer Power. Again, they're on Amazon. Last little hint tip trick that I want to share with you guys is you may be watching this video and notice that my glasses have an incredible reflection on them. Check that out. Do, do you see that right there? The big halo. That's because I have a giant halo light obviously right there and that's really, really distracting. So if there was an actual Knox Studio videographer behind the camera, he or she would say something, would see that detail and say, hey, you should consider taking your glasses off so that there's not this giant reflection going on. Uh, or we wouldn't even have that harsh of lighting to take into account the reflection on your glasses. And these even have ref anti-reflective uh, coating on them. Can you imagine if the, some people didn't have that coating? It would just be this bright, bright white light right on my face. And so in that case, we would take you outside where there's nice flat lighting or something with uh, more uh, environmental uh, lighting that would envelop your face rather than one point of really harsh lighting. So we would consider that and I would have you consider that as well. Even if you're using your smartphone to film someone, consider uh, the lights, reflection on their glasses. Some people feel weird taking their glasses off because they feel that it's a part of their face. Uh, it, it's okay. You, you look fine without glasses. Um, and I imagine you're you actually know where the camera is. It's not like you're gonna be like this. Don't know where the camera is. Uh, unless you're really, really blind. All right, so last little update on Costa Rica. We'll be going there shortly. We, that is my family and myself, we will be helping put a roof on a church. We're gonna be partnering with some local people there. 
and some other teams, boots on the ground. And then when we're in Costa Rica, we're also going to be floating up to the Nicaraguan border, where there are a whole bunch of refugees right now fleeing from communist Nicaragua. And some pretty harsh stuff is happening to them. And there's a ministry there who, are, who is helping these people. And it's, it's a really cool ministry. I can't wait to show you guys this video. But for now, those are my top two uh, tips for the day. Quick little update on Costa Rica. Thank you so much for hiring us and for sending us and allowing us to capture impact and broadcast love.